Hi guys, Calvin Strawn here, creator of the Find A Way To Win programs, the Audacity program, and the Eruption Seminar. I'm talking to you today about the power of your story. What do I mean by that? You know, through my career and my brand, as you know, is about find a way to win. And I've had that with me for as long as I can remember. But it was way back when I was a, a younger athlete, all the way to being a professional sales rep, to being a coach, to being a speaker. It's about finding a way to win. You know, when you're entering any new venture or any new challenge, it's how do you break through? How do you make it work? And this is where your story can stop you. You know, sometimes you say to yourself, well, I don't have the experience or I don't have the background. And I covered a bit of this in my last one on creativity, but it serves a purpose here with your story. Here's why. When you're trying to get a promotion, let's say, maybe you don't have the, the network or your boss doesn't know you're interested in it or your colleagues don't look at you in that perspective. So you think, okay, it doesn't work. It's not, I, I, I'm not going to break through. And so your story limits you. Right, there's a great quote, I'm not even sure who originally said it, it's been used so many times now, is that the only thing stopping you from getting what you want in your life is a story you tell yourself about why you can't have it. It's worth repeating. The only reason you don't have what you want in your life is because the story you tell yourself about why you can't have it. So sometimes you think, you know what, you're playing sports, I'm not tall enough, I'm not big enough, I'm not fast enough. Or maybe you're going into an academic role for, I want to be a doctor or a dentist or a lawyer or a profession like that. You say, well, I don't have the marks. I'm not smart enough. I don't know how to figure it out. I don't have a mathematical mind or analytical mind. All of a sudden, your, your story is trapping you in. So when I work with my clients, quite often what's so funny is I say to them, this is my own personal quote, if things are ever going to change for you, you have to be willing to change your mind. You have to be willing to change your mind. If you won't change your mind, you can't break out of those confines. Does that make sense? You resist so deeply. And what's interesting is, as a coach, when I'm working with clients, they'll say to me, just what do you think, Cal? What should I do? You tell me, as if I'm some kind of a genie or a magician that has all the answers, and I really don't. My whole focus is to help them to think differently, to change their mind. Have you ever noticed that in human beings, actually in all species, which is kind of funny, not all, but most, there's this resistance, this, this instinct to resist. You know, my daughter is three years old, and if I grab her hand and just sort of pull her a little bit, she'll pull back the other way. She automatically resists. My cat, I have two cats, same thing. If I pull on my cat's back for a second, they're gonna try and push away and go the opposite direction. Try this, just for fun. When you're at work, with your family, and you see someone, grab their hand and give them a slight pull towards you and just notice what they do. Notice if they actually pull back from you. Now, why am I saying that? It's in our nature to resist. So as a coach, when they say, Calvin, what do I do? And I say, do this. Invariably, they go, that will never work. They resist right away, every time, even if it's the right answer, because they're so locked into their story. So I say, okay, they go, okay, well, that won't work. Well, what else can I do, Cal? I give them another answer. No, nope, that won't work. And they resist, and they resist, and they resist. The whole purpose of this is the story has prevented them from moving forward. If things are ever going to change for you, you have to be willing to change your mind. If you won't, your situation will not change. It doesn't matter who the coach is, what the seminar is, what the program is, that's it. It's as good as it can possibly be. So if you decide you're too short, too fast, too slow, not smart enough, you're right, you're stuck. You have to be willing to change your mind. And if you will do that, you will find a way to win. That's all I have for you today, folks. I'll see you on the next one.